Hi, this is Ashok here. I am a trainer for CFA and you are watching Phoenix training YouTube channel where I make content pertaining to CFA and investment banking topics. Appreciation and depreciation of currencies, how to calculate? Appreciation and depreciation of currencies. So, first of all, okay. If I say dollar appreciated by dollar appreciated by let's say uh, five percentage in comparison to rupee in comparison to rupees, okay, it does not mean it does not mean rupee depreciated by 5 percentage in comparison to dollar in comparison to uh, in comparison to dollar okay so this is this is what you know you will get to learn in this video that dollar appreciated by 5 percentage it doesn't mean that rupee are depreciated by 5%. So, how it happens? Let's see with an example. Say, for example, imagine right now $1 is 80 rupees and it goes to $1.85. So, that means see the base currency. The base currency initially we required 80 rupees for the base currency dollar. Now we require 85 rupees for the base currency dollar. So that means base currency is becoming more expensive. So base currency is appreciated. Base currency is appreciated. So that means dollar, dollar up has appreciated. Okay, dollar or base currency. So base currency has appreciated. Now if I want to find out the percentage of appreciation, the formula is closing price divided by opening price minus 1 that is equal to 85 divided by 80 minus 1 so that comes to 85 divided by 80 minus 1 comes to 6.25 percentage okay I can also calculate this as uh, 85 minus 80 divided by 80 that is equal to 5 by 80 into 100 okay so that also will give me 6.25 percentage okay now suppose so when i say that means dollar has appreciated dollar has appreciated by 6.25 percentage this doesn't mean so it is not equal to rupee depreciated by 6.25 percentage okay so then what is happening to rupee so let's see so if i want to know so but all i can say is if dollar is appreciating rupee is depreciating but i cannot say equal percentage so i know rupee has depreciated but by what percentage now so if i want to calculate rupee depreciation rupee is what numerator rupees in the numerator so this is the quote currency quote currency it is also called uh, price currency quote or price currency whereas the denominator is called as base currency okay so if i want to calculate the appreciation or depreciation for the quote currency numerator so in this case it has depreciated so how I should calculate is for the quote currency this is for quote or price currency for the price currency it, it is opening price divided by closing price minus 1 ok this is the other way around. So, opening price is 80 divided by 85 minus 1. So, 80 divided by 85 
minus 1, it comes to 5.88 percentage. So, it has depreciated by 5.88 percentage. Okay, 5.88 percentage, or I can even calculate like this 85 minus 80, the way I calculated before over here. See this one. However, you need to change the base. In this case, instead of 80, I will keep 85 as the base. Okay, and then into 100. So, now again I will get 5 divided by 85 into 100. So, this comes to again 5.88 percentage. The only thing is, it is not giving me minus sign. I need to be careful here. If I do like this, I should know that even though it is 5.88 positive number shown, but still it is a depreciation. Okay. So, this is how I can calculate uh, appreciation and depreciation. So, rupee has actually depreciated by 5.88 percentage and dollar is actually appreciated by 6.25 percentage. This is how we are supposed to calculate appreciation and depreciation of currencies. Okay. Thank you for your time.